A neck mass is a bump or lump on the neck. Neck masses can be present from birth, but usually develop within the first five years of your child's life. They are generally painless unless infected. There are two types of neck masses, solid or cystic. A solid mass is a dense lump of tissue, while a cystic mass is a sac that fills with fluid. Neck masses can be central, on the front of the neck, or lateral, on the left or right side of the neck. A branchial cleft anomaly is an example of a lateral cystic neck mass. These anomalies can present as a cyst, a neck pit with a dead end called a sinus, or a neck pit with an internal opening called a fistula. The branchial cleft system is a series of slits along the side of the neck present during embryonic development. An anomaly means that a part of the system developed differently than expected. There are four types of branchial cleft anomalies, but the most common types are second and third. Second branchial anomalies generally reach up toward the tonsils. Third branchial anomalies generally have an external opening in the lower neck and an internal opening in the back of your child's voice box. They most often look like a pit in the skin. Surgical removal is necessary when the cyst, sinus, or fistula begins to drain, becomes inflamed, or forms an abscess. The surgery happens in an operating room. First, your child will be given general anesthesia, a medication that makes your child sleep and keeps them from remembering or feeling any pain during the operation. After your child has fallen asleep, the surgery begins. When the anomaly is a bump, your child's surgeon will make a small cut across the bump. Once inside, your child's surgeon will lift up the muscles in the neck to reveal the anomaly and remove it. When the anomaly shows as a pit in the skin, an oval-shaped cut is made around the pit. Multiple cuts may be needed. Once inside, your child's surgeon will use their airway voice box, and neck muscles to help locate the anomaly and remove it. The wound is then closed with stitches that are hidden under the skin and don't need to be removed. A drain may also be placed. Steri-strip bandages may be placed over the wound while it's healing. The procedure will generally require an overnight stay at the hospital. Your child's doctor will take out the drain the morning after surgery. You will be instructed on how to care for your child's wound while at home. Most patients recover within one week. Call us at the Children's Hospital Colorado Department of Ear, Nose, and Throat to make an appointment with one of our providers.